Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Anthony Showtime Pettis. All right, here he is, DC, Milwaukee's best, and we're not talking about the logger, Anthony Showtime Pettis. A lot of people wonder what he was doing, moving down to featherweight, then up to welterweight. The proof is in the pudding. Ask Stephen Wonderboy Thompson how he uses his welterweight. Oh, it was, it was unbelievable. But an Anthony Pettis, you see a guy that, regardless of weight class, finds his way into UFC championship fights. He fought for the belt at featherweight, was the lightweight champion, and is now trying to accomplish a UFC welterweight championship. One of the better and more diverse strikers in the UFC, and also a guy that has championship experience. He has a magnetic quality that lets you know that at any moment, he can be a breakout star. He truly is the total package, and as such, the stars are out tonight. Anthony Showtime Pettis is back. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC. Your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling. Coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none. One of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Pettis is two Ladies years ago. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buff. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's easy folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomedov! Okay guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. Showtime's not worth it. Anthony Pettis says that the faster Habib takes him down, the quicker he can get out of the octagon because he's going to find a submission to finish the Sambo World Champion. Nobody's done it to this point. Let's see if Pettis can change that. Pettis gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, blocks the shot. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. 
underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Oh, single collar tie here. Pettis gets caught with that punch. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Right on the button. Slips the left hand. Nice shot to the body there. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your point. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. This is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass for this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching for the up kicks, making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, just over two minutes to go in the round. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meadow. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meadow. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Meadow. 30 seconds to go. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Ten seconds to go in the round. Dennis' eye continues to swell shut here. Round two next. Let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent from the top position. Take a piece of meat, beat up. 
there, look for the finish. One. All right, here we go with our next round, and thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mincemeat with that ground and pound in the previous round. Oh, he got demolished, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transition into the elbows. I mean, he was so he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, jiu-jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face. And there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Real quick leg kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight night. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. So 101 total strikes are now landing for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, landing at a pretty good clip as well. 67% accuracy thus far against Anthony Pettis. Nice body kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown, DC. Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud of that sweep. Great job getting into your position and finding that beautiful takedown. Big, powerful punch. Yeah, it looks a little back right his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Pettis's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Nice defense there, huge block. And they separate. Nice kick. Under two minutes to go. And potentially a critical takedown here. Well, any time you're in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Gets up again here, but hurting. Hermago Medov's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. land there by Nurmago Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Single collar tie now. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about heads of our boats. Armando Medov gets the takedown. Could be big here. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Pettis. Sound strike on the ground. Man, 
how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. Kick to the body, that one blocked. Lands the right hand. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Dennis gets caught with that punch. Well, he hasn't really shown. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Knee to the midsection there. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Pettis' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Slips the punch nicely there. And they separate. Just misses with the right. Well, these unofficial numbers continuing to pile up. 152 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Just below 50%, by the way, 49% the accuracy rate on the strike attempts against Anthony Pettis. Oh, great head movement there, slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you want. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt, serve him up, go get him. Oh, huge right hand! Official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 42 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, 
not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.